So now the lathe has been mounted on a one quarter inch aluminum plate parallel with the front edge. The gearbox has been mounted square with that front edge and also square with the plane perfectly. So now it's time to align the drive screws and the drive nuts which is fairly straightforward. First we mount the saddle the gib has already been adjusted so there's no slot we push it all the way to the end here the drive screws have been turned down on the end so that they'll fit into those quarter inch tubes that hold the gears insert it into the drive nut which is loose guide it into the tube now the screws are into the tubes so the drive nuts are aligned and we can crank them down Now the drive nuts are tight and we can remove the cross slide carriage because it's time to install the spindle. Push that all the way to the end. Take it down. And we can put the saddle back on. Make the screws go back in the tubes. Now that the drive nuts and drive screws are aligned, we just want to make sure that we have the thrust bearing snug on the gears so there isn't any backlash that way. Nice and snug. That takes care of the backlash on the axis. And we'll crank down the gears one at a time. We'll crank that one down. And we'll rotate this this way. Well, this gear will rotate it this way. Till it's just a little snug and that will remove the backlash from the gear train. And we'll do the same with these gears. Rotating it this way, rotating the other gear this way until they bite snugly. And that removes the backlash from the gear train. And so now we can crank down the coupler. Finally, we have to put on the end plate. So we'll run the carriage to the far end to make sure the screws are lined up.
Now it's time to put on the end plate with the brass bearings to keep the dry screws from whipping around. Now we know they're in perfect alignment. so far.